This is Movie Division. Today, I am going to recap the action-adventure fantasy horror sci-fi movie entitled Hellboy. Spoilers ahead. Watch out. The movie starts with the narrator explaining the scenario of the Dark Age of 517 AD. The Blood Queen of Creatures, Vivienne Nemu, had spread a deadly plague in humans as revenge for injustice to creatures. King Arthur comes to surrender to her at Pendle Hill with his wizard, Merlin. Instead of surrendering, Arthur throws an arrow which pierces through the queen. Janita, her loyal witch, betrays her too as Arthur cuts Nemu's head off with his sword, Excalibur. Nimue's blood goes into the tree and Arthur cuts her into pieces, each placed in different caskets. He got them sealed with a prayer and sent off to far off places. The next scene starts from the present day. Triwana, where Hellboy is on call with his dad about not causing a scene. Hellboy explains that he needs to get his friend Ruiz back. He had gone to investigate a nest of vampires and a reliable source had told Hellboy where he could find them. Hellboy reaches a wrestling ring where he is challenged by the wrestler, Kamazots. Hellboy tries to talk to Ruiz during the fight about why he is pretending to be Kamazots. He fights back and Hellboy takes off his mask to reveal a hideous creature. He fights and accidentally kills it, turning him back into Ruiz. Hellboy apologizes, but Ruiz says the end is coming. In the next scene, Hellboy is in a bar where Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense BPRD agents come to get him to the headquarters. He resists, but then tags along. He meets the BPRD leader, Trevor Bruttonholm, his adoptive human father who says Ruiz's death was just a part of the job, but Hellboy is upset about it and replies he killed him. He tells him about the Osiris Club, a British occult society formed by the Heliopic Brotherhood of Ra. The organization wants him to assist them in their hunt for three giants. The scene cuts to a witch and a beast talking about taking revenge from Hellboy. The boar-like fairy Grugach says his life was stolen by Hellboy and a miserable one was given to him. The witch, Baba Yaga, guides him to restore Vivian Nimue, who can help him in his vengeance. Hellboy arrives in England at the Osiris Club. He meets the agents there, Lord Adam Glaren, Edwin Carp, and August Swain there. They tell him about the giants that have rose from the grave. They suck the bone marrow of everyone and are residing in the new forest. Hellboy is informed where the club seer, Lady Elizabeth Hatton, says that they are on a mission of handling the creature that would be the end of mankind, which is Hellboy himself. Bretton Holm was meant to kill him when he first came into the world as the result of the Nazis' project Ragnarok, performed at the end of World War II to help Germany win. Meanwhile, the boar-like fairy kills monks in St. Sebastian's Abbey to find Nimue's head awakening her. During the hunt, Hellboy is betrayed and nearly killed by the hunters before they are ambushed by the giants. The scene cuts to the creature that has assembled most parts of Nimue, bringing to her the leg as she watches TV. In the meantime, Hellboy manages to defeat the giants but falls unconscious because of his injuries and is rescued by a young woman. Hellboy awakens in the woman's flat and recognizes her as Alice Monaghan, a girl he once rescued from fairies as a baby. Sending a SWAT team to retrieve Hellboy, Bretton Holm relays that Nimue's remains have been taken and the last piece is at the Osiris Club. They are introduced to M11 agent Ben DeMio. He is very rude to Hellboy and they don't get along at all. DeMio, Hellboy, and Alice join the team headed to the club. His father explains Hellboy about Nimue and her motives. Finding the club slaughtered, Alice channels Hatton's spirit, who reveals that Nimue seeks Hellboy to cause the apocalypse. Nimue's arm is taken by Grugak, and Nimue distracts Hellboy to be appealing to his frustrations, allowing Grugak to escape. Ben can be seen in the next scene injecting himself with a substance. Hellboy reveals that Grugak is a changeling who took baby Alice's place before Hellboy branded him with iron and forced him to return Alice. Grugak hates Hellboy for taking his chance to be human. In the next scene, all the pieces of Nimue are sewed together and the witch perform the ritual to assemble her. She tells Grugak that they have one last task and Hellboy is the key to it. Demio takes Alice and Hellboy to M11 headquarters before secretly acquiring a special bullet to kill Hellboy. The bullet is preyed upon by the Holy Father and has the bullet of the saint confirming a kill. Hellboy has an argument with Bretton Holm about his adoption and how monsters should not be finished every time. He angrily leaves and gets stuck in an elevator, which leads him to be magically transported to Baby Yaga's house. Having shot out Baba Yaga's right eye, Hellboy is talked into giving up one of his eyes for the location where Nimue plans to restore herself by reclaiming her blood. Hellboy reneges on the deal and in anger, she curses him to lose a loved one. On the way to Nimue's location at Pendle Hill, Demio reveals to Alice that he was the sole survivor of a jaguar attack. That's why he hates monsters so much. The group arrives after Nimue's full resurrection. All the creatures arrive at the hill. Nimue kills her witches in revenge but asks Anita to take Hellboy to the one who can show him his destiny. 
Nimue poisons Alice at the thorn of her crown and flees with Krugak. Kanina directs Hellboy to the resting place of the wizard Merlin to save Alice. Hellboy and Demio excavate Merlin's still-living body, and Merlin cures Alice before putting her and Demio to sleep. Merlin tells Hellboy that he is a descendant of King Arthur through his mother, who was spirited to hell by his father, who was a demon. Merlin offers him Excalibur to destroy Nimue. Holding it shows him a vision of himself causing the apocalypse. Merlin, having used the last of his magic to bring Excalibur back, disintegrates. The trio return to London to find the M11 staff dead and Breton Holm missing. They follow Nimue to St. Paul's Cathedral, and Hellboy fights an empowered Grugak. Demio turns into a powerful jaguar form and helps Hellboy fight Grugak. Nimue kills Grugak so that he would not kill Hellboy. Hellboy refuses to listen to her and tries to kill her. She knocks him down, and the floor breaks, sending him into Arthur's hidden tomb under the church that holds Excalibur. Hellboy initially refuses to pull the sword, but reneges when Nimue kills Bretonholm. The sword's removal opens a portal to hell from which demons emerge and attack London. It turns Hellboy into his full demon form. Nimue motivates Hellboy into believing he must follow his destiny of ending the mankind and making a better world for monsters and creatures. Demio watches the scene hiding behind the cathedral's pillar. He keeps his gun and bullets specially prepared for Hellboy ready. Alice channels Bretonholm's spirit to discourage Hellboy from becoming a demon. Hellboy beheads Nimue, not falling into her trap of fate. He shoves the sword onto the floor of the cathedral, and all the demons are sent back to hell by this. Hellboy throws Nimue's head into the closing portal of hell. Hellboy and Bretonholm's spirit talk about why his father saved him if he knew the monster nature. His father says that Hellboy is mankind's best and only hope and his best decision, and Demio discards the special bullet. Six months later, the trio raid a cult club of ONS society. Hellboy hits Demio to turn him into his jaguar form. They fight the cult members there and find a water tank of his Scythio sapien. In a mid credit scene, Hellboy is consoled at Brunton Holmes' grave by the ghost of his hero, Lobster Johnson. He rants on about how big of a fan he is, and Lobster shows him his claw. He asks him to get back into the fight and stop mourning. In a post credit scene, Baba Yaga talks to an unseen force to find Hellboy and kill him, and in return, she will grant him his greatest wish of finally dying. If you enjoyed the recap, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on the bell notification and comment down your favorite part of the movie. Thanks for watching.